Hello out there all you game maniacs. You're listening to the smooth sounds of Blitz. Today I want to take the time to point out exactly how cool Hyperspin is. Now this is a program that I've mentioned pretty often, but there's really no way that can convey exactly how cool Hyperspin is without a video. So here we go. Hyperspin. So what is it exactly that makes Hyperspin so cool? Get ready for action. Well aside from the fact that you can add any amount of systems, emulators, and games to it. Aside from the fact that it makes managing those games and emulators as simple as pressing a single key. Aside from the fact that you can add your own videos, text, graphic files, sounds, and animations to it to represent the systems and the games within. It's also very easy to set up. So anybody can do stuff like this. None of this is actually my work. These graphics aren't mine. And these animations, none of this is mine. I have heavily modified these systems and graphics and stuff to my liking, but aside from that, I take no credit for any of this. This is just the work of a few crazy individuals that also happen to be pretty awesome. Game enthusiasts like me and you with a lot of time on their hands. And I thank them for that. You don't have to Dragon's be Lair, the fantasy ashamed in any way of that because what you've done is great. I say good job. In case you haven't gotten the gist of it, this supports a lot of systems. It actually supports any system that has an emulator, or in fact anything, like individual PC games, um, I guess card game programs, whatever you want to set it up to do. It is very specifically good though at running emulators and ROM files. Wow, I have a lot more systems than I thought. I, I have to apologize if this drags a little bit. Here's the PC games I mentioned. This even supports some more powerful systems, such as Naomi. And the CD systems. Saturn. And of course, PlayStation. It's not that disk emulation is a new thing, but this makes it very easy. They'll actually uncompress the file for you, mount it, 
and then play it along with saying all the video and sound options. That's right, for all the two people in the universe that actually have played Supervision, you can support it with Hyperspin. And for the half of that person that actually owned one of those, you can relive all your childhood memories with Hyperspin. Alright, that about covers the systems. So, you know, hey, you're thinking, well, videos are great, images are great and all that, but none of this is really essential. Well, that's true, but videos are cool. I mean, hey, you're on YouTube, right? You must like videos. That's not all it does. Sure, it has system videos and stuff like that. But when you actually go into the system, you'll notice that there's also videos for each individual game, and box art for each game, and... Well, it's very comprehensive, I would say. Some of the bigger titles, like... Mm, Salamander 2? They actually have their own little animations and graphics people made for them. Which are easily integrated into the system. If you have the space or time to do it. Good old Stun Runner. Wow. That's gonna show up well on YouTube, I bet. Oh yeah, that's that's gonna be a great recording. Okay, yeah, that stuff is great too, but the real power of the system is it allows you enough options that all you have to ever do is press a single button to start the game. Okay, you want to play a game, right? You like video games. Well, just find a game that you like to play like, uh, Doom Troopers and press enter. I am now playing Doom Troopers. I have pressed enter. My controller is already set. That's a little loud, but that's okay. They say, hey, ROMs are really easy to emulate, aren't they? Yeah. But this will also do, uh... Hey, PlayStation titles. Those are usually pretty fancy. There's somewhere over 500 of these. But, you can sort by letter, and also page up and page down skips through them pretty fast. Yeah, I want to play Oddworld. And I really don't want to be bothered with zooming out so that you can see the screen. But I am playing Oddworld. You can see the center. Yeah, they're the same. Hey. Hello. Hello. Okay. Alright. Even does it harder emulators like... I I'm not actually sure what emulator runs Sega Saturn. But just to demonstrate. 
I think this is SSF. Yeah, it's SFF. SSF. SSF. See, it's decompressing the ISO and loading in the memory. So it takes a little while, but it would take a while anyway. Honestly. If you wanted to do that by hand, it'd probably take you like five minutes. Uh, Scott Hall. Tragic story of wrestling. A tragic story of wrestling. Colin Scott Hall. See, in this game, Razor Ramon is fighting his demons. He has to actually fight himself to take control of his life. Will he succeed? I don't know, because that's not what this video is about. Have you ever seen an emulator for Lynx before? Here's one. These all work. It's pretty amazing. If you have enough time and effort, you can make anything work. You can make Amiga games work. Perfectly. Every time. Like, hey, you want to play something awesome? Uh, how about awesome? This is several this long. It would take quite a while to set up at any rate. If you're going to do it by hand, you'd have to load each and every disc one at a time. When you're doing hyperspin, you press enter. You press enter and you play the game. That is pretty awesome. Okay. Sure, it takes a while to set up, but let's put this in perspective. I've collected over 100,000 games for I don't know how many systems. They almost all have graphics and categories and everything, and it's beautiful. It's a dream come true for Retro Gamer, and it took me about two months to set up overall, on and off. I didn't just sit here and do it for two months, but on and off in my free time, I've set everything up. I download everything and set it up. It's about 1.75 terabytes. At the, right now it's about 1.75. It could be a little bit bigger if I had higher quality videos, but these are good enough. You can put anything that you want on there. I'm, I'm sure you can make a 6 terabyte hard drive. Well, actually that doesn't exist. You could make a hyperspin that takes up the space of two different hard drives. Or three, or four. It's all up to you and what you want to do with it. It's highly customizable. It runs efficiently. It does what you want it to do the first time. And that's what hyperspin is. And it's something that I endorse wholeheartedly. It's an amazing program done by amazing people. And they deserve your support. Because all their hard work, they do for free. It's truly amazing. Alright, that's my lovin' for today. So, I'm just going to stop the video here and... Have a good night.